in their ears and keep the cows in the barn. I'm sorry, Flo. What did you just say? Chavas are copies. And Lennon means decaf. And whisper in their ears is sweet talk. You know, when sugar. Oh, there's so much to remember. And let's keep the cows in the barn. It means no cream. Oh, how will I remember everything? Sit with me, honey, and you'll pick it up in no time. It's another great night shift in the Falafel House. Is this the Falafel House? I just heard your jingle. Washer dies out to walk around town with aprons full of spoons. They jingle up a storm. When people come to see where the noise is coming from, they sing that song. It's a new thing called advertising. So, fella, what'll it be? Booth or table? Table would be fine, but I have a question. Shoot. What's a falafel? What's a falafel? I'm from out of town, way out of town. Just asking. A falafel is a little taste of heaven, right up into a ball about this big. Around these parts, it's everybody's favorite food. How's that different from a hush or puppy? A what? That's a weird name for a food. Sure is. Better lock up your pets where this fella comes from. <laughs> hey, who are you? She's a new waitress, Mo. Her name is Lydia. I told you I was going to hire a new girl. I thought I'd train her on the night shift so she can slide right over the day shift. Okay, Lydia, try to follow me on this. Most of the people we, who eat in the falafel house are red ears and here all the time. Try to take care of them. Okay, I'll try. Ain't here tonight? Oh, those senses are gonna break my back. Here's one right now. We're full to overflowing and everyone wants extra blankets. Just sit. I can't sit down, I'm too worked up. That's fine, you can stand. Nothing for me, I think I'll just sit. Or he can sit. I'll just have a coffee, thanks. That's Holla. Miss Holla to you. She manages the Sabbath then. She's a little stressed out on the census crowd and all. Those people over there, they're the clay pot factory workers down the road. What do they make? Oh, about 30 shekels an hour. But that's before overtime. No, I mean, what do they make at a clay pot factory? Seriously? They make clay pots, high tech stuff. They use heat from fires to convert clay into modern kitchen vessels. Wow. Hey, good to see you all. Look, the shepherds are back. Funny, Mo. Never heard that before. This bunch is the night shift shepherds from the fields east of town. They have been coming here for years. You must know them well. Yep, almost like my own kids. That's Skip, 
That's Stamp. That's Biffy. That's Buffy. That's Tommy. And Tammy. There sure are a lot of them. And that's only half of them. They can't all leave the sheep at the same time. The other six are still out abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. They'll be in later. Okay, kid, here's your first table. May I take your order? That's not how you do it. What do you have? I'll have a glass of chocolate milk and a bowl of shredded wheat. Okay, Mr. Moe, may I have one order of... One money, Moo, and a bell of pay. Mo, I see you now have manna on the menu. Is it real manna or that manna substitute stuff? Well, Biffy, you know only God has the original manna recipe, and he hasn't shared it with anybody. But ours is the best manna humanly possible. And hey, hey Tommy, what do you have? What is That's right, Biffy. Now that the town is full of the gills for the census and the night travel has died down, I'm closing it down for the night. But, Bo, why? It's just not worth staying open all night for a few night owls. Nothing ever happens in the sleepy town in the middle of the night. But, Mo, what will we do then? You know we have great nights, and this is the only place we have to eat. No, there's that place on the south of town. You mean awful for awful? That place is... Well, awful. Just one more piece of horrible news. Should have seen it coming. Lydia, meet terrible Tommy, the most pessimistic person in the world. Everything's bad news to Tommy. I'm not a pessimist. I'm just a realist. Watch this. Hey, I can't believe how good business is going because of the senses. 
Are you kidding me? The whole city's been upside down. The streets are crowded, the sheep are stressed out, and anybody who doesn't have a hotel can just forget it. See? Why is there census again? Caesar ordered the account of every single person in all of his kingdoms. Everybody has to go back from where they were born so they can take account. So Caesar can take more of my money. A couple got into town today, and the girl has to be about nine months pregnant. The inn was so crowded, they didn't have a place for them to stay. Never seen anything like it in Bethlehem. Well, you must feel lucky, so m lucky to live in Bethlehem. Why do you say that? Because the scripture says the Messiah will come from Bethlehem. Ha, a prophet wrote that hundreds of years ago. Seems like that's not likely to happen. I gotta go back to work. I believe God could send the Messiah any night he wants, even tonight. Bethlehem, the Messiah tonight? In those dark streets? I doubt it. You're a dreamer. Open tomorrow night. Flo, it's the right thing to do. Ah, the kids must have left these after school this afternoon. They'll be panicked. What is that? It's called social media. The kids send messages to each other. It's the new craze. How does it work? Technology again. It's this thing called papyrus and this thing called a pen. It's just amazing. They write notes. Someone across the room to know what you're thinking just minutes ago. Newfangled technology? Can I help you, stranger? You're new here in Bethlehem. I'm staying. I'm, I'm in for the census. I'm staying at Bethlehem Western, and I ordered a pizza to go. What hotel? Beth Western. Beth Western? Bethlehem Western. Beth Western. Beth Western. Oh, I don't remember, remember any order to go. A falafel and an anchovy pizza? Here it is. I'm sorry. We'll make it right now. Don't worry. I can wait. Sorry. I was distracted. 
What's up with you today? You're not usually making mistakes. I guess I'm just thinking about that couple who got into the town, who came here at the beginning of the shifts. They had no place to stay and they didn't have a penny in their name. The girl who was going to have a baby? That's the one. I'm just worried sick about her. At least they're not hungry anymore. Flo threw so much free food on their table, they might not be hungry for a week. Aw, oh, Flo, you're such a softie. I suppose I am, but tell anybody and I'll break your arm. <laughs> I just hate to think of them outside in the dark all alone. Why does it bother you so much? You don't even know them. Our quarantine Herod and his soldiers rule with the iron fists. I think one day when God's Messiah comes, he'll be gentle and caring. Gentle? Jeremiah said that he'll be a conqueror. He will defeat all nations and, and assemble the scattered people of Judah. He will be a warrior. Warrior? Isaiah says he will be a judge. He will have the spirit of wisdom and understanding of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. I believe he will pre be a priest. Isaiah says that the righteous will be the belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. Regardless of what he's going to be like, the Messiah will come from here. He's for the light of David, so he's going to be king. But is he really going to be born in Bethlehem? Mike says, but you, Bethlehem, though you are smaller than the clans of Judah, out of you will come me who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old the ancient times. It's been hundreds of years since that was written. How are you so sure it's still true? Because God promised it, and God always keeps his promises. For sure, if the Messiah were born right here, right now, I would drop everything to see him. Flo, you're about to drop everything right on top of that poor lady from the Beth Western. Oh my, very sorry. Here's your MLT, mutton lettuce and tomato sandwich. Enjoy. Whoa. What, what is that? that? That's bright. What is that? It's bright as day out there. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. It's coming from over the shepherd's field. What in the world? Or out of this world. Did you see that light? Yeah, of course we yeah, did. Yeah, we saw yeah, the light. Yeah, of course we did. It was... I know, I'm a little worried about that young couple sleeping in my stable. 
You know those ones you saw earlier, the young girl who's soon to have a baby? You put them in the stable? <laughs> Just sleeping there tonight. I know we're overbooked, but I'm supposed to have a checkout tomorrow morning. Maybe I should go back and check on them. Those bright flashes of light may have frightened them. You know, I've been thinking about that sweet young mother to be all day. Mary is her name, and her husband is Joseph, come all the way from Nazareth. That's a long way from home. Hope they can move out of your stable before the little boy or girl shows up. That reminds me. She said the strangest thing when I asked her if she hoped it was a boy or a girl. Really? What did she say? She just looked at me and smiled and said, it's a boy. What? Maybe she's just hoping. No, she said, she said an angel told her that she would give birth to a boy and it was all part of God's plan. Mary's baby is part of God's plan, just like the angel told her. It would also be so wonderful if Hall could give those kids a proper place to stay. It would also be wonderful if I could get my pizza sometime soon. <laughs> Lydia, you may want to start clearing tables. Mo insists that we're going to be closing in just a bit. You're really going to do it? Nothing important ever happens at night. We don't make a dime. It's time we stop kidding ourselves.
Did you see it? See what? The light, bro, the light. It was angels. You saw angels? Didn't you? They were everywhere and won't even talk to us. Angels talk to you? They didn't just talk. They praised God, and it was loud. The angel said, do not be afraid. Because I already was. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. You saw this. You're joking, right? Not joking. Tommy, you're always the guy who gives the bad news. What's the bad news about his? Nothing, Mo. This is the great best news I've ever heard. The baby born here tonight is the Messiah, the Savior that God has promised. All right, you shepherds, what are you up to? What? Us? Oh, don't act so innocent. I was sound asleep when I heard some commotion in my stable. Looked out the window and saw you skipping and hollering, and I followed you straight here. Well, Miss Holla, there was this angel. Angel? And he told us that the Savior is born here tonight. Savior? And that we could find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And sure enough, we found him in your stable. In my stable? I think I need to sit. After all those years of waiting, God has kept his promise. The Messiah, the Savior, but has been born here in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. Good news of great joy. For all the people. So Mary's baby? In my stable. So the baby sent from the Messiah for us? I have to go see him. Flo, look at the time. It's almost closing time. We've got to clean and lock up first. Never mind that, Mo. We've got to go. 
I think I need to sit. Holla, you're sitting. What you need to do is get up and come with us to see the baby. Mo, are you coming? I want to see a messiah. Yeah, let's go. Until he saw the Messiah. He's so old I knew it had to be soon. That's why I'm here in Bethlehem to see him. What do we do now? We gotta spread the news to all the people. <laughs> They'll never believe us. How can we speak to so many people? Stop being so negative. This is the good news we've been waiting for. We're supposed to be over there. Mo, come quick. There's a, there's a caravan that just pulled up in, right in front of the diner. There's a huge line of hungry people waiting to be fed. We're supposed to be over there. They saw your open 24 hour sign. Apparently, they're tours from all over the world. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. It's after midnight, and Mo's decided we're not going to be open for the night shifts anymore. Flo, go see our guests. We may not be able to go tell the world about our Messiah arriving, but it seems like God is bringing some of the world to us. You mean? We need to spread the word, and that diner is the place to do it, 24 hours a day. Besides, we can't abandon our customers to awful falafel. So we're staying open for the night shifts? Absolutely. Who says nothing ever happens on the night shift in Bethlehem? Falafel's on the house at the Falafel House. (laughs) 
We've got good food, good news, and good service. I think we may need a new jingle. Who knew that this night would be the birth of the king? Who knew that this night would change?